Oh, yo, Chaos Squadron, it's you. Now that we're our host, aw, oh, thank you, thank you. Yo, Chaos Squadron, it's your host, Shadow Tell Yes, how you living? And welcome to another Chaos stream. Really quick, I love y'all, but, um, so my volume was messed up the whole stream yesterday. <laughs> um, because I totally forgot. Yes, I did. I did eat. Um, I ate. Uh, shortly after my work, because I had a short shift today, I only worked for like an hour. I had sushi from Publix, and then I had Zaxby's for dinner. Um, because of my mom today, and she wanted to go to Zaxby's, so I figured that's I was like, I'd rather pay for Zaxby's for her than pay for Chick fil A. So, you know, I feel better now from the time I had to go get her Chick fil A. Because I'm like, if mom wants Chick fil A, I'm gonna go get mom Chick fil A. Uh, but, now I feel more clean because I got exactly mm. but yeah I forgot that what fucks up my mic whenever that as long as you think yeah I have um, whatever fucks up my mic it's when I have therapy on Monday because I have to do it virtually so and for some reason the thing we use to do the session every single time it access my mic it drops the volume down in windows and if I turn it back up, then it has the whole mono effect that um, y'all have seen. So I have to unplug the mic, replug it back in to fix that. So I really need to try to figure out a way to where I can either stop that from doing that, so I don't have to fix that every week, or just have to remember to fix that every week. But anyway, oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not do my gifts and daily check-in. Oh shit, hold up. Um, so yeah, I know, really late. Um, after I had dinner, I had intended to come up here and stream. The only thing I was gonna do was I had to get, uh, get some of the uh, trash. I had to go through some of the trash that was left in my old car. Um, Cause we junked it today. I had to do that, and then I was going to figure out fix for it. Yeah, hopefully. Um, speaking of fixing, like um, you, your motherboard should be coming in tomorrow, right, Matt? But yeah, so I was gonna get up here. I had to change kills cat litter after I dealt with the trash from my old truck, and then I was gonna go stream. But then when I got in here, I got distracted with, nice, I hope it goes well when you change it out, Matt. Uh, I got distracted with, I wanted to do a better edit, because the one I had done yesterday was, it was okay for a really quick job. And, let me rephrase that. I wasn't happy with it, but it was like something that I was trying to do really fast. This one, I wanted to do something a little bit more cool. Unfortunately, it took longer than I thought to piece it all together the way I would want to, the way I was satisfied enough with it to use it on Twitter and almost two hours later it's like I'm done oh shit it's past midnight I should probably not stream but then I was like but no there's something I really want to do on stream tonight and of course I still got to play Genshin anyway regardless so I was like no I might as well go ahead and stream fuck it so here I am <laughs> uh let me do I still haven't looked up that new shout out thing that my friend Melon told me about um so I am just going to use the chill shout out. We're just gonna use a chill shout out for now, mods, until I figure out a better setup for the shout out clips, because I keep fucking up. So that way I don't have to remember by turning it on or off, and we won't have to worry about the sound playing even if it's turned off. Just use the CSO for right now. That being said, please check out my Say So Pegasus YouTube and Fernando, Matt, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, who also mods on here. Uh, please check out their content. They're really cute. They're adorable. They are one of the say-so VTubers you'll be able to watch if you want to have a good time there. And they do it all. They play Tales of Arise. They play Spyro. They play Stardew Valley. Really helps. So I never switched to Motherboard before, which is my friend. Really on call with me to walk you through it. That's good. Mm. I, um, when I built this computer, I had somebody there guiding me through it. I, I had to do the work. But uh, he was there guiding me through it to make sure I didn't fuck it up. I still slightly fucked it up, but we was able to fix it. Then my cat knocked it over, and that really fucked it up, so I had to get another CPU. <laughs> Thankfully, it was still a return policy, so I was just able to exchange it out. Thank God, because I did not want to spend another two, three hundred dollars for that shit. All right, so the name of the game today is, of course, again, Shin Impact, which I just realized my controller is not plugged up. Hold on. Uh, eh. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the chaos, I, I, I built the Chaos Drive Mark I um, with the help of a friend who was over singing. And uh, yeah, 
Granted, I definitely, looking back, I, w I wish I had realized all the PC gaming I would end up doing over my time uh, being on Twitch. Because if I had known that, I would have sprung for a little bit more for like the graphics card and shit like that. But we're talking peak COVID, so they were hard to come by anyway. But um, there's definitely other things I would have done. Like maybe I would have got a more powerful motherboard. I definitely would have got a more RAM. And I probably would have sprung for a more powerful CPU. Cause mine costs like two, three hundred. I might have sprung for uh, like a, a nine instead of a seven. So, but yeah, but it will get upgraded. I will slowly start building some stuff. I'm gonna start with RAM, cause that's something I can realistically afford. Um, sometime soon, I'm gonna start with that. See how that helps, and then just kind of go from there bit by bit. And I have other friends that I can reach out to to get some advice on it. So yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so let's go ahead and get the show on the road because I know it's already really, really late. But we'll swap something that makes me nervous. I feel you. I, I haven't done it either, and I don't even know what goes into that. So I definitely understand you being nervous about it. But I believe in you, Matt. I, you can do this. You, you got this, Frando. You got this. Hmm. Ugh. Drinking a monster because of how late it is. I'm like, but the things I know I want to work on tonight, probably gonna need it. So I went ahead and grabbed one. They had a buy one, get one free. Yo, is that a cutie I see that also plays Genshin in my chat? What's up? Can we get a shout out to Cease Esso for Cosmo Cupcake? One of my adorable, very cute friends that also play Genshin. Plays with Dead Island 2 right now, but they do play Genshin a lot. In fact, they are one of the few people that uh, have managed to get their co community's crit rate above 0%. Well, out of the negative. Which is really fucking hard. But like her most common setup will have you like negative 95%. <laughs> so like she can actually crit for him. It's a very rare possibility, but it can happen. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to slowly work it up, but got a long way to go on that. But yeah, welcome in Cosmo. How you been working on Gibson lately? Have you been back on it to this uh, update? All right, first things first. Wait. They're still nice though. For those of you who are on Twitter though, y'all should check out the edit that I made. Like, I know there are people out there who could do a way better job, but given my limit of sk my limited skills, I'm actually pretty happy with it, especially compared to the last one. It was really rough to find PNGs of like good characters that were like battle poses. A lot of them were just more chill, relaxing poses. Like, no, that's not gonna work for this. It's like a three-on-three -three brawl. I need I need fight poses. They were so fucking hard to find. So I had to make some adjustments with that. So I had to use a character I did not want to use. Like, I'm okay with that character, but it just, it just for me, it doesn't make sense because I don't have that character. I don't use that character. So I was like, I didn't want to do it, but I didn't really have a choice. I was like, it's either that or it's just going to be two against three, which could work considering the character I did have in the battle pose, but... I, I, I wanted somebody else. I really wanted three on three. Get frail, then to start. Oh my. Well, you are a space pussy, so I guess I'm not surprised by that. I love how I didn't touch the water at all and I still got wet. The fuck? Wow, I, I really, I, I pressed the X button to recover that, but you know.
You think Rails and the Stars are normal around here? Yeah. You should call Momo and send her your way. Let her rail you a good bit. She can use a pick me up. Nine hundred more, girl. I'm a billionaire. Let's get it. I'm speaking of Momo. Oh God, what what did Momo do? This story ought to be good. Did she have fun teasing little Cosmo? In Momo recently. Oh. Mm-hmm. I am listening, darling. Mo, well, reading. Y you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Having some fun, spicy things going on in your Twitter DMs? Are you being naughty with her, Cosmo? <laughs> I hope you're having fun. Honestly, that's good. She could use it, and so can you. Go on, and get that special release. Make sure you both feel good. <laughs> Something sure gets hard, all right. Feeling those pants tighten a little bit, aren't you? Not. Literally. Literally. There is no Honestly, I have a song that makes me think of you two. Well, what makes me think of Momo and now by extension you. Called Sugar Mommy by Pussy Riot. Come and fuck your sugar mommy. Come and fuck your sugar mommy. It's on Spotify. Go check it out. Oh, you know what? Plaything also. Oh my god. I can see her singing plaything to you while using you like her plaything. <laughs> you to say me and Lou combo going on. Well, good. That's good for you both, honestly. Are you my plaything boy? I really need to freaking get the track thing set up on here so I can actually just play music without having to worry about freaking DMCA. You know what? Hold on. Fuck it. I'm gonna play it. Alright, let's see. Go to my lewd playlist. There it is. It's one of the newer songs I have on there. Oh. She really destroyed that thing in one fucking shot. Oh my god.
Yeah. I could do that. I should send this to Momo. You're like, this is this is you and Cosmo. Kill the other one. Wow, the image of this is uh, an eggplant with a knife on it. Holy fuck. That was perfectly timed. They died right as the song ended. This is Sugar Mommy. Stop that song. Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kyrie? Thank you for the raid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Of all time. <laughs> Woo. I had to hit that stop button real quick. God damn. But yeah, welcome in. Welcome in. Yes, thank you for shouting out, Kyrie. Y'all, that song was slapping. It was. Oh, God. How much of that did y'all hear? <laughs> like, how much? Oh God, what was this? Oh fuck me! It was, <laughs> it's um, it was Sugar Mommy by Pussy Riot. I was showing. Don't think I heard you hit stop so quick. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, I'm so glad it's a stop button on the Corsair keyboard. I was just like, eh. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. It, it's no secret that I'm not fully say so. Like I'm pretty mostly wholesome, but like 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 69% wholesome. The rest of it, no. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in everybody. Thank you so much, Kyrie, for the raid. We'll see. What were y'all doing today? Y'all were. I think you were also playing Gitchin, weren't you? Yes, you were. What did you do on Gitchin tonight? What did you have going on? Breaking my wholesome habits. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure, Cosmo. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're totally, you're totally wholesome. 
But yeah, what you work on today, Kyrie? Thank you so much for the raid. I, I really appreciate you trusting me with your awesome community. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Look, pull it. Yo, nice. Good job. Good job. Congrats. Sonic breaking it down on the bottom left. Yes. Yes. We always keep Pride Sonic in the bottom left corner. Always and forever. He's always there dancing for us and just having a good time. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Shadow Terios. I am a variety streaming VTuber. I am the apprentice of Shadow the Hedgehog. Thank you for the sweet uwu. Make sure you rest in peace. Um, I love Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. But I also do enjoy Hacker Slash Game of the Devil May Cry. Um, I am going to be going back to Kingdom Hearts, which is one of my favorite action RPGs. Get you being another one. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy yourselves here. I'm pretty chill, pretty cozy and wholesome but i'm not afraid to talk about loose stuff and if it comes up it comes up and we're just gonna have a good time with it hey sora thank you for coming to the stream um so i'm a 21 plus streamer because i do talk about stuff like drinking sometimes and whatnot and that way i just feel less needing to be filtered so i just kind of go for it <laughs> so yeah hope y'all enjoy yourselves here and what i'm working on today in genshin besides get my daily shit done is we're gonna do some of the story quests for Chiori since she just came out. Check her out. See if I have a reason to like this character. Because lately, when it comes to my pulls, it's been equal parts how useful that character is. But then also, do I like the character as a character? So, like, for example, when Fidina came out, I was like, eh, I'm probably not gonna pull Fidina. Or I might pull for her just because she is, you know, an Archon. But then the more I got to know the character, I was like, oh my god, no, I have to have her because she's amazing. <laughs> or if I get it to relax and stream without nearly as many filters. Facts. Wait for Nubilet. Agreed. For the Archons! Yes. I'm going to stream today because it's nighttime. I need something to keep the bad thoughts away. Aww. Over tab me. There's no spoilers on the quest. Yeah. 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 Avoid your spoilers. If anybody who's playing Genshin and don't want to get spoiled, totally understand if you want to dip out. But if not, just go ahead and hang. But yeah, I do want to get all their Archons, especially since I actually lucked up and got Venti. To say for listen, Nouvellet is awesome. I totally don't blame you for wanting to get Nouvellet. I want to get Nouvellet next time he gets ran, but I'm also trying to get Mona on this new wish, which reminds me. But I'm glad you got Ito. Congratulations. Let me see. So the Cypher. So I do want Father when she. I think I might want Father when she comes out. Oh, Nivellet is coming up. Oh, I missed that part. Okay. All right, let's see. How, where did, where did, um, fuck, who did I get last night? Where did Klee pop up at? So I already lost my 50-50 for the new Chronicled Wish, which means I'm guaranteed to get Mona, which is the one that I really want. So it's okay. All right, so let's see. So that's 35 36. Okay, bye bye, Prentice of the Hedgehog. Yeah, take care, Cosmo. Love you. Thank you for the alert. He's so upset if I can't get a weapon. See, I'm. Oh. I struggle with whether I want the weapon or not. We talked about this last night when I streamed. Um, I feel like. Yeah, I know. Never touch a patootie. I know. I feel like if I'm gonna pull for a weapon, it's gotta be a weapon where. Like, I've built this character up to where there's nothing else I can do to better her or him except get the freaking weapon. So, Raiden Shogun is a great example of that. I put so much work in on this bitch. Like, let's just look at this right quick, all right? So, now my stats aren't the greatest. I've seen way better. But, I put, you can see how I put that work in. So, you know, let's just see. You know, we got this one right here. All percent. Actually, I could really actually make this one better. If I could find the right one, I could actually make this one a little bit better. Um, then we got this one right here. I could actually make this one a lot better too, now that I realize it. But getting the one with the electro damage bonus is really hard. So I'm not surprised on that. So I should probably start working on that again. This one is, well, no, I actually could do that a little bit better too. Because that HP down there could be better. So, But still, you know, it gets the job done. Then we have this one. Now these I'm pretty proud of. These two right here, I'm pretty proud of those two. So, then, of course, we have her talents triple crowned. 
and we got C2 for her. Oh, I mean, because, you know, they only run her once a fucking year. So, basically, <laughs> in the time I've been playing this game, I got her. I got her the first year I was playing this game. Then I got a C1 the next year. And then I got a C2 this year. And C2 was like, if you can get it to C2, you ain't got to do another thing unless you want to. You don't have to. And so it's like, what else do I do at this point? Like, she's got pretty good artifacts, which we already know the artifact RNG in this game is garbage. So I'll be here forever trying to get better um, artifacts for her. Talents are all done. Got her constellation at C2. The only other thing I could do was get her weapon to make her better. That was like the only other thing I could do. So I did. Oh, <laughs> uh, but it actually worked out pretty well. Not gonna lie. So yeah, this did my baby right here. You hate to rate it. Oh, honey, no. By all means, the, thank you for rating in. If you need to do some, you know, streamer aftercare, take care of yourself. Aftercare is really important, not just in spicy stuff, but also in well, really a lot of things. So yeah, go take care of yourself. Go get something to eat. Go get something to drink. Rest up. Try to recover from being sick. I'm so sorry, honey. And you take care, okay? I mean, listen, listen, listen. As a, as a person who, where I feel like aftercare is a requirement when it comes to that, I'm just saying, okay? Like, if you're getting it in, aftercare is really important. <laughs> All right, have a good sleep, fam. And I hope you feel better. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. It's good to see you, though. And also, happy birthday. And I can't wait for tomorrow, actually. I was about to say, I can't wait for, what day is it? Yes, tomorrow. Oh my God. Holy shit. I get to play with Kyrie. I get to play with Kyrie. I'm, now I'm thinking about Kingdom Hearts. I should really get back on that. I'm so excited. Ah! All right. So let's see, what was I about to do? I guess I can go ahead and do the, unless you're like me who got the gut, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> you did get your justice, though. Thank the Lord. All right, so let's go ahead and start working on the story quest. That's going to take the most work. But let's claim... Let's check this one. You know, though, we should probably do this, too, actually. All right, get that key back. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Let's do New Valette. I actually really want to do this. Paimon asked so many questions about his true identity. Let's go talk to him and find out. I feel like we're going to go back to the past a little bit with this one. But why the hell not? To be perfectly honest, there's not much else to do right now. But you said that's how I'm ending this. Oh no! I'm sorry, Sora. God, we just had Sora and Kyrie in chat. Granted, Kyrie's name is spelled a little different, but still. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That's funny. That's funny. I'm dead. It's a sign. It's a sign. I really need to start playing Kingdom Hearts again. These knockoff ghost star cookies are not bad. Coincidence? I think not. Oh god, yeah. Your satellite internet era. I so I felt so bad for you, Spare. I missed you so much during that time. Man, we ain't been in here in a minute. Wait, uh, did I hear that right? Monsieur Nirvalet, are you sure you'd like to take over the case yourself? <laughs> That's right. No, but why? Technically speaking, cases like this are better left to the guards. Nivellet! Janine! Hey there! What do you two talking about? Ah. Ugh, traveler in Pi 
Paimon, please help me talk our Chief Justice out of this. He wants to investigate a case on his own. I think he's more than capable. Be unprecedented. How can we have the Utex acting like a private detective? Huh? Um, I can just... I can introduce you to some amazing detectives. I trust that you'd be able to work that out with how well connected you are. You do look good. I do not plan on relying on anyone else's help for this matter. So, what is it exactly? It sure sounds serious if it's something you've got to investigate personally. A Meluzi named Kiara received a threat letter. Huh? And then? That is all the information I have acquired at this stage. No idea why you're so hung up over this. I've checked the schedule in advance, and it seems like there aren't any trials today. So, if you insist, uh, I have no objections. Oh, that from him. Thank you for understanding. You will have all your husband Bill spirit. For now. Should anyone visit while you are away, I will be sure to make a record of it. I sincerely hope that you will return soon. Judging from Sabine's reaction, it must be pretty rare for you to investigate stuff personally. What's so special about this case? I cannot tell you just yet, but it reminded me of certain past events. Mm -hmm. There are complicated conflicts of interest behind all this, so I must eliminate all risks in advance. Conflicts of interest? It is not my intention to keep you in the dark, but I need some time to revisit those memories and collect my thoughts. Long story short, a little more than 400 years ago, I became the Udex of Fontaine and initiated a series of institutional reforms. There were few people I could trust, but I had two subordinates who were exceptionally trustworthy and capable. Carol, a Melusine, and Vautrin, leader of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They must have been amazing people to receive such high praise from you. Indeed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to protect them. Oh no! The reforms damaged the interests of some, and a more conservative faction took advantage of Carol's identity to instigate political unrest. Ultimately, they wanted me to yield more of my power. The incident resulted in Carol taking her own life oh. and Vautrin being exiled. From then on, I've been especially careful when dealing with cases related to Melusines. You're concerned that you're the Perpetuous real target? Seems like they're using Melusines against you. All Melusines used to live a secluded life away from human society. I granted their wishes when some of them, including Carol, asked me to bring them to the court of Fontaine. Oh, let me guess. People look down on them. Common folk believe that I share a special bond with the Melusines, and whatever they do can be traced back to me. Some of them, especially those who hold a grudge against me, exploit that belief and stir up conflict over Melusines in an attempt to lay the blame on me. I have nothing against the opinions of others, but the moment a whirlpool of conspiracy forms, it inevitably affects the innocent. It has already happened once, and I want to make sure it does not. I just want to know where this takes place in the timeline. Even so, why do you have to be the one investigating? There's the guards, the Mari Chose Phantoms, and the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. I don't know if they put that kind of thought into it, where it's like designing this story to where it doesn't really matter when you do it, it still fits. Hold hostility towards me do not belong to the same department. The political system of Fontaine is relatively complex and involves the interests of multiple different factions. However, since I am technically an outsider in Fontaine, a lot of trouble could be avoided if I personally took on the case. You're an outsider? But aren't you the Chief Justice of Fontaine? Why would you be an outsider? I understand where you are coming from. But there is not necessarily a connection between my responsibilities and how I perceive myself. You know very well about my true identity and have even met others of my kind in other nations. 
When did that come up? I think that came up immediately, so this could be back then, but it also could be recently. Let's Even see. Even though I was born with a human form, there is a fundamental difference between dragons and humans. Taking on the role of Chief Justice does not make me a part of this community. In fact, the status I was granted has prevented me from forming deeper bonds with others. I have lived in Fontaine for a long time, but I do not belong here. That is why I call myself an outsider, a fish out of water. If you put it that way, we're also outsiders of Fontaine. No fucking shit. You're not even from this world, Traveler, or Lumine. And we don't know where the fuck Paimon comes from. Yeah, we have nothing to do with all those organizations anyway. So how about we come with you on your investigations? Let's team up and round up all the bad guys lurking in the dark. Hmm, that does not sound like a bad idea. I rarely investigate cases on my own. Ha, 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 Oh, spirit, I'm curious about which Discord server this is. <laughs> Sounds like a naughty one. That I'm in a few of those. Paimon's starting to get a little embarrassed. Just leave it to us. Let us go. We should visit Kiara first and try to gain a better understanding of the situation. Um, so Nuzalette feels like she doesn't truly belong here in Fontaine. I'm sure you have. Those those servers never cease to amaze me with some of the things I see, whether it's pretty cool or pretty cursed. Usually both. Consider using the more accurate term in private occasions. Please allow me to rephrase. As a dragon out of water. Ugh. That sounds kind of weird. Let's stick with the previous version instead. Don't be a perf, Paimon. It doesn't sound weird. It's only it's only weird if you start thinking about you know what I'm not mm -mm. Mm -mm. I hang around too many monster fuckers for this shit. <laughs> Unleash the dragon. Out my head. Let me find better snacks to have for I'm streaming. I should not have these up here for the record, but my roommate's asleep, so I was like, you know what, fuck it. Tiara. So normal gets snacky. Oh, come on, you know me. Oh, I remember. You're the traveler and Paimon. I've heard about you. Aw, she's adorable. Hey there, it's nice to meet you. You know who's not adorable? Thanks for the compliments. Is there anything I can do for you? I heard from Sedin that you received a threatening letter. A threatening letter? Oh, right, I remember now. The letter fell through the crack in my door as I was heading out this morning. It said something about catching me, so I thought someone wanted to play hide and seek. But Sedin told me it was a threatening letter, and that I could- Paimon is adorable me. sometimes, agreed. But that's not gonna happen with everyone looking after me, right? Have you run into any suspicious looking people recently? Suspicious looking people? What counts as suspicious? Someone who follows you from behind? Someone who always tries to have a conversation with you. I'm gonna go with this one. Ah. Well, 
did you think of something? Nope. I don't remember meeting anyone like that. Mm. Do you still have the letter with you? I want you to show me what it says. Now then, <clears throat> get lost. If you don't leave the Mare Chaussee Phantom, I will come and catch you in person. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. A simple threat. <coughs> Neither the handwriting nor the content itself reveals anything about the writer's intentions. Are they concealing their identity on purpose? We can't rule out that possibility. Since you can't think of anyone suspicious, I will be heading back to the Palais Memonia to review some official documents. Kiara, you should come with us. It's safer if you stay close by. Sure! Uh, wait, You're no, so no, no. cute. I, I still have a case to work on. I promised Elop that I'd check on her closely, though. Let's go with her. You are being watched right now. Going off on your own could be dangerous. I'll go with her. That's where we come in to help. We'll stay with Kiara and make sure she's safe. There we go. Good job, Paimon. Facts. Thank you, traveler. Big sis Paimon. Big sis Paimon! Oh, that's so cute! Uh, oh. Uh, ahem. Don't worry, your big sis Paimon is super strong. Um. Let us go our separate ways for now. Paimon, I love you, but who's the one that handles all the fighting in this crew? Right away. See you around. You just fly overhead to observe everything. Yo, good morning, Diablo. How you doing? of us why does other people at a buffet <laughs> ha but you're not wrong though is that strange Paimon felt like someone was following us that's not Charlotte Kayla! Kiara you're here for the nurse from the prison to get a banner. Oh, Siege Wing? I wonder how she's gonna play. We're on a secret mission. Alright. Guess I shouldn't have asked. May I begin inspecting the store as planned? Of course. Go ahead. Mm. Whoever you are, come on out of hiding. Hmm. Come on, get this work. No hazards detected. You've cleared the inspection. Seems like the criminal from that case last month never set foot in here at all. That was quick. What were you inspecting? I took a look around the shop. Nobilet says that us Malazines have special eyes that can see things people can't. Really? But things like blood stains. No matter how hard we try to clean them up. We Melazines can see the residual stains for some time. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, shit. All right, all right. Now that we're done inspecting, can we have a chat? Hear me out. I'm planning to release an outfit for children next month and wanted to hire you as my model. Is that okay with you? Aww. Of course. Is there anything I need to do? Please wait a moment while I take your measurements. The sample should be a perfect fit. Seems like they get along really well. Uh oh. Huh? What are you looking at? I think there's someone over there. Is there really someone watching us? Shh. Let's sneak over and take a look. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I have no privacy. Oh. That'd be 
catalyst user. Yeah. It is Charlotte. Strange. Why isn't he back yet? Surprise, motherfucker. Charlotte, what are you doing here? When I heard the cameras, I was like, maybe. Thank you, Spirit. Threat letter? What threat letter? What are you doing here exactly? Uh, this is starting to feel like an interrogation. Okay, I'll be straight with you. I don't know the slightest thing about that threat letter you mentioned. I only wanted to follow Monsieur Nouvellet and request an interview with him. You want to interview him? That's oh, right now. I want a soundboard too. Oh, right. I mean, honestly, know. it's just my stream deck. And I just assign certain sounds to certain buttons. That's all it is. The Palais Marmonia rarely accepts appointment requests from us, and we never have the chance to interrupt when the court's in session. So imagine how surprised I was seeing him out on the streets today. It seemed like you were investigating something, too. The perfect opportunity to whip up an exclusive, don't you think? Of course, I'll make sure to turn in my manuscript. Charlotte got a little side boob going on over there. You don't notice that. And I'd never publish an article without the consent of all parties involved. And honestly, for people who are into the timing, the thank you, Spirit. And honestly, some people are like really into armpits. And I'm pretty sure when Charlotte came out, they all just collectively jizzed their underwear. I don't think he'd agree. It's better if we kept the secret. Yeah, we're doing a secret investigation that can't be made public knowledge. I see. Well, if you say so. I guess I'll put this matter aside for now. Oh, what a shame. Chances like this don't come by very often, you know. I mean, you're not wrong. Also, oh, I forgot to tell Cosmo, thank you for the biddlies. Oops. I'm not a fan personally. I said not everybody, but some people sure are. All right, then. Oh, by the way, I'm going to say it again. Fuck Tinder. Like so fuck, I an ten, er. In fact, it was well received by our readers. I was planning to continue the series, and now someone's coming after her. I'll ask my colleagues about it. Who knows? I don't keep shaming you, do you? Yeah. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. This secret's safe with me. But I gotta warn you. Even if I keep my lips sealed, others will know eventually. I mean, you're not wrong. Why? People it's all. Monsieur Nouvellet's each and every move. Some may have already realized that something was up. Besides, you know, we should get back to paying attention to Kiara. So, anyway, I'll get going now. Watch yourselves, all right? It's a trash dating app. You're not missing anything, Spirit. Well, that was a nice chat. Hmm. Let's head back and check on Kiara. Let me guess, she's gone. Oh, thank God, she's not gone. Clorand. What do you think? Charlotte is awesome. The design looks pretty good, huh? I think it's great. I want to work on building her a little it's bit. Very pretty indeed. Can't wait for her to come out. What are you doing here? It seems that you just showed up out of nowhere. As I passed by the Palais Mamonia, I heard that Nivellet was she... a case with you. You know, I haven't looked into how she works, so oh shit. Employer employee relationship. It didn't feel right to have my employer personally take on such trivial cases. I happen to have some time at the moment and came to take a look. I sometimes have my clothes custom made at this boutique, in any case, so we always have the a boob look. window go hard though. Ah, <sighs> Nervalet sure is lucky to have someone like you. Leave this to me. You should go meet up with Nivellet. Okay then, we'll leave Kiara in your hands. I don't see the thing about 
for having a bond of life, though. Maybe I'm just blind. I see she can heal members based off of her attack, which that's kind of cool. Hmm. I would look into it more. Anyway. You know what? I don't feel like climbing that, so we're just gonna do this right here. Open sesame. Oh, you're back. Is everything all right? We ran into Clarin. She offered to help us protect Kiara. That is good to hear. I trust her abilities. It looks like Kiara is in good hands. I mean, she is like the duelist of this country, so. Well, did you find any leads? I've been looking over the case records, specifically inspection reports submitted by Kiara and major cases I have judged over the past decade. I have come up with two plans. On one hand, I could start with Kiara and track down the group behind all this step by step. On the other, I could also analyze the conflicting interests of these major cases and confirm my suspicions if there is indeed a mysterious group that bears a grudge against me. They both sound like pretty solid plans, but can you really finish browsing through all these documents? That's a lot of reading, even for time on He's a dragon. Don't worry. I'm a fast reader when it comes to official documents. After all, I have several hundred years of reviewing under my belt. I'll help you read through them. We have nothing so much to daddy, because he's so older than all of us. Thank you. I will continue looking through the ones piled up on the desk, but feel free to browse through anything else in this room. Ooh, we can explore his office. Well, we know about that already. Bribery case. I have not seen the animation. I try to avoid anything um, leaked. Uh, especially because I am doing a Genshin stream event. Um, considering that this is something that Hoyleverse watches, um, let's, let's just not take that chance. I appreciate you, though. Alright, there's something else in here. Wait, oh. Alice Boss has been told that. Oh, no, I have not come to a close. Not reading it. Oh. Well, that pretty much sells it that it's still a little bit earlier on in this story because that was we handled that already. Have you made any progress? We skipped through some of them, but there wasn't anything useful. Oh, there are so many documents lying around. Just how many cases have you handled? A million. I would love to answer that question, but the truth is I've never made a precise calculation myself. Huh? If memory serves me right, there should be at least 
100,000 cases. The documents you see are just a small fraction of what's really there. Oh, that's a lot. Looks like the work of a chief justice isn't easy at all. That might be how it seems from another's perspective. Well, if we're still that early in the Fontaine story, where the fuck's we in at? To me, simply routine. There are many documents. Then again, you know what? Never mind. I, I, I just answered my own question in the back of my head. All right. Let us take a break then. What's up? Uh, um. Uh, even though resting is a part of taking a break, shouldn't we at least talk about something? Okay. What's that? Awkward. I'm gonna go with no, just because I don't know what that is. Please pardon my lack of consideration. People rarely come to the Palais Memonia for matters outside of work. To be quite honest, I am not sure what we should do. Would you like to have some drinks, perhaps? You must be thirsty after all that work. Ooh, drinks! Thank you! You know what the girls with guns? Oh, that one! No, I don't play it. I know. I've seen it, though. I watched the uh, episode of Afro Sinju playing it. It seemed kind of interesting. I guess I'm a little spoiled when it comes to gotchas on Genshin because it's like it's more an action RPG with gotcha elements. And so any gotcha where it's like not that, I, I think it's going to be a hard sell for me now. Let's call it Ruby Zero. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, wine. An astute observation. It is indeed water. <laughs> Y'all, he don't know about human life. Old water? He doesn't get what this stuff. Think it was? Um, oh, which is hilarious to me. Damn. What, what's Rim? This water is indeed very special. It would not be an overstatement to call Of course it is. Sophisticated. Wow, that's dirty. They're fucking twins. I believe you've already tried Fanta. In fact, there are many other drink factories in Fontaine, including those that specialize in packaging pure drinking water. Said water is sourced of course she is. across to that, including Mondstadt's Cider Lake, Liu's Chintsa Village, and Inazuma's Konda Village. Here is one of their latest products. Water from Sumeru's Apam Woods. Is there any difference? They're all just water, aren't they? You could probably tell the difference. If I were to comment on their mouthfeel, mm, the waters of Cider Lake warm the heart. Mill Beatrice? The waters Dang. Of village have a I, saw, I haven't watched ReZero, so I don't even know much about the characters. The placid, distinct differences exist between the waters of each area. You will appreciate their intricacies once you taste them carefully. God, it sounds like when I worked at freaking Starbucks. Hate Starbucks, by the way. That was that was not a great month working with them. It no. Zero out of ten would never do again. I did find my old apron though, and if I was cute, I totally would do the the whole apron thing. But I'm not cute. Regrettable. It seems like you still have a long way to go in refining your taste. It is exactly like working at Starbucks. Oh my god. Hey, this doesn't have to do with refining our taste. I am pretty sure most ordinary people can't. Yeah, water that. dragon. And how did you do it anyway? Oh, could it be because you're the hydro dragon? That could be the case. No fucking shit, Paimon. Uh, we are allowed to bring that up, right? Since no one else is around? Ages. If you're the Hydro Dragon, why aren't you the 
become chief justice in human society. Hmm. Asking the real questions here. Uh, sorry, Grandma was just curious. You don't have to answer. There's nothing to hide. I was simply organizing my thoughts. I accepted this position because I wanted to seek out answers to questions that have perplexed me. Questions? Are there really things you can't figure out? Many, in fact. But the one question that puzzles me the most concerns my own existence. In essence, I neither know why I was born in this form, nor do I understand where my long life should take me. Oh, that's one rough. Time, my memory was rather incomplete. With regard to the Primordial Sea, for example, I used to only be able to vaguely recall its connection to me, but I was unaware of what that connection was exactly. Is there anyone who can answer those questions? Perhaps the elemental dragons of other nations may have some form of an answer. However, they are scattered across all of Tavath. Abruptly visiting could very well pose an unpredictable risk. True. That's fair. Some of them have very personalities too i have been holding on to these unanswered questions for a long time but there is one thing i've discovered along the way my emotions easily resonate with those of others even i don't have the slightest idea what they mean my guess would be that there are at least some similarities between humans and myself by observing their behavior perhaps i could one day understand the meaning of my existence i see you know i just realized Cosmo lurked because he didn't want to get spoiled, and it's like, well, fuck, we didn't even, we're not even doing the thing that they were worried about being spoiled about. Oops. Have you made any progress, then? Perhaps, but I find such progress difficult to describe. As an outsider, chances to engage in meaningful interactions with others are few and far between. Really good question, chat. So, I'm really debating, because there's not like a big event or anything with Genshin right now. So there's only, now granted, they may be about to release one, I don't know. But so there's only so much to do in Genshin right now. So I was kind of thinking about doing what I keep saying I was going to do, where I will stream Genshin like a day or two in a row. Excuse me. And then I'll stream something else. And then of course come back to Genshin because I have to stream as much as I can during these uh, like, what, two weeks? But the question is, what else would I stream? Um, I was thinking about doing Sonic Mania, because I've been putting that off for a while. Because I'm going to replay it now that I have it on PC for convenience. And I'm actually going to try to get the Chaos Emeralds this time. So I think that would be cool. Um, I also talked about Detroit Become Human. I still really want to do that and try to get that started. And then, of course, we keep talking about Kingdom Hearts. And really, I need to go back to finish Bayonetta. I never did finish that. So it's like, what should I do? Like, there's so many options. So many games. Also, I wanted to ask, I'm, we might do a poll about this, uh, not tonight, because it's kind of late, but like another night, where it's like, how do we want to go forward when it comes to story-driven games? We want to play multiple games. Like, that's how I started doing it, where it's like, one day I'm going to play this game, one day I'm going to play this game, one day I'm going to play this game. But I'm starting to lean more into, like, no, we're going to focus on this game until we finish it. And I wonder which one would be preferred. Like I said, I'll probably do a poll on that on a day when I can actually start streaming earlier so there's more people here so I can get more of a proper answer with that on the poll but um yeah I'm trying to figure that out I feel like I'm leaning towards focusing on one game until it's done but I don't know yeah that's what I'm leaning towards but I still want to get chat's opinion and I know at the end of the day ultimately it really only depends on what I'm feeling but still I try to keep I try to let chat be at least a part of it you know, and at least if I end up not going with whatever, like, majority of chat suggests, I can at least have my thoughts on why, you know, just, I don't know, something like that. That's why I'm quite thankful for this chat. Such opportunities are rare. <laughs> Alas, time is limited. We should move on with our investigation. Are we going to continue reading these documents? Uh, my mind's getting dizzy already. I wasn't able to find any leads even after browsing through most of the documents. But while we were on the topic of water a moment ago, another idea came to me. Oh. Water? Do you mean... The Fountain of Lucene? That's right. Neverlet is really cool. 
the fountain of Lucina is where all of Fontaine's waters converge. Oh, it is the vessel my, my cat's down there. I was like, what is this fuzz I'm feeling? Kale's down there. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't step all the way down. So he just took, he took it as me petting him. So it's good. Um, I forgot, why didn't I pull for Nuvulet? I think I didn't, because Raiden came out like right after. Yeah, I think, I can't remember. Why did I not pull for him? I think at that point I was starting to start stacking up for Navia and Raiden because I, I wanted Navia more and then I was going to start working on getting Raiden for her C2. I think it was. Spirit probably remembers more than I do. If there really were an organization attempting to use Melazines against me, they should also hold an intense resentment towards me. Perhaps we'll be able to find some new leads by sensing the hydro element within the fountain. Perhaps we should go. There shouldn't be too many people near the Fountain of Lucene during the evening. I also gotta figure out um, changing my diet. And not like going on like a full, full diet, but like just changing some things up a little bit. Um, cutting down the carbs and stuff like that. I know one thing I really want to do is I want to find... Because I feel like I get, I get really snacky after stream. But because I only have so much stuff here, I end up going into having a full meal. What I really need to do is I need to find like a good snack that will be fulfilling enough to where I don't need to eat a whole meal. I I'm trying to work on that. Pepperoni was one idea with the pepperoni packets, but I know those get they will, they will give me pretty bad heartburn when I'm getting ready to go to bed. So I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. I really want to do like the little chunks of like imitation crab meat um, that you use in like salads and stuff. Are they headed towards the fountain of Lucina? I said, what the fuck? But those things are expensive. I probably shouldn't disturb them. Looks like we got lucky today. There's hardly anyone around. Uh, what should we do next? Oh, Traveler, can you still hear the voices from the fountain? Not really. Should I drink more primordial seawater? So this does take place after that case gets handled, at least. Perhaps leave the investigation to me. I need you to take a few steps back and keep a safe distance. A safe distance? Nivellet, what exactly are you? I wonder if Neva lets in the caning. What just happened? Everything looks a little different than how they are normally. I should continue forward and take a look around. Yo, look at this. I can't run. I can't do anything except this regular move. Oh, that part's cut off. I have to go this way. Huh. It was first Nouvellet, then as we got head off of her. Don't blame. However, I tried to do it. I was holding up for a job. So, yeah. So, I think the first... Yeah, I think I didn't get to a point where I really wanted Nuvalet and Risley until, like, it was probably almost too late. But then, yeah, I, I was holding off of Fredina more so. Yeah. That's what happened. And I'm pretty sure, like, after that... Because it was 4.3 when they did Raiden again. So I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Like, after I did Fidina, I didn't want to do nothing else except Navia to get Raiden. Something like that. Thank you, 
for bringing us here, Monsieur Nubelet. The Court of Fontaine is truly incredible. There's so many things I've never seen or heard before. I understand your excitement, but there's no need to thank me. You know what I thought about? You know, this, this is not helping me for thinking that I may have, I may be on a spectrum a little bit. Um, I think it's like the texture of the snack. Like, I like to have snacks, especially this late at night, that have a texture like a meat or like a like a seafood muscle or something like that. So I think that's why, like, a lot of the snacks that I have at night are not not satisfying and why I end up having a hole in the meal because it's the only way I can have something like meat. Oh, uh, man. Yes, I did. I did. You freaking had zero pity. That shit was crazy. Although I have responded to your wishes, it was not without personal interest. Melusine's special sight make them especially suited for joining the Mara Chaussee Phantom. I am certain you'll become an indispensable part of Fontaine's detective force. I know, but I'm really glad to be of help. Not only can I repay you for your kindness, but also, it feels like my life has become a lot more meaningful. But a meaningful life also comes with its risks. It's definitely the safest to just stay in the village. But I want to see the outside world nonetheless. In truth, I have never really understood the purpose of my existence. Or what I'm capable of contributing to this world. Mm. For almost 20 years, we've stayed in our village without finding any answers. That's why we wanted to leave our village and look for the meaning of our existence elsewhere. understand your confusion. In fact, I feel the same way. I too came here for an answer to my questions about my own existence. Really? Could you tell us what we should do to fit in as you did? The truth is, many people threw rocks at us today and told us to I knew they were going that route. I knew it. It hurt a lot when they hit me in the head. And I tried really hard not to cry. Logically Here, speaking, likes her red meats. Both time I do need to try to keep it toward white meat, though. I remember I lost a lot of weight when I stopped eating red meat. Like, I would eat it occasionally, like, if I went out somewhere and it's all they had. But, like, at home, it was strictly chicken and fish. And I lost so much weight just off of that. So I really want to get back on that. There aren't many suggestions I can share. Because just like you, I haven't fully integrated into the society. Despite my social status, I am still an outsider. As I was saying, I gotta cut back on the cars because even though I'm working my butt off at work all the time and I'm definitely getting my workout, I'm still not really losing weight more. I don't know if I've plateaued or I'm having too many carbs, so I'm gonna eliminate that first. I'm also gonna try to start going walking. Unfortunately, though, the captain. Let me get to the. Uh, unfortunately, though, I do worry about walking, going walking or running in my neighborhood because. It's in a nicer neighborhood, and, um, yeah, I don't need anybody thinking, oh, God, that person's gonna, and I'm just like, I just am trying to work out. Please leave me alone. It felt like he wasn't interested in anything but work. He is an earnest man. There will be plenty of opportunities to work together in the future, so please try to get along. Well, no, no, not completely, but I definitely, I, I, I have a, I eat a lot of pasta, so I definitely got to scale it back a little bit. Hello, can I help with anything? Thanks, but no need. Oh. Fuck you, dude. Eat a dick, motherfucker. Here. I'm calling the guards. Bro, what the See, 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 right there. Right there. That's what I'm worried about going walking or running in my neighborhood. People are gonna be thinking I'm up to something be like, I need to call the police. It's like, bro, I'm just trying to work out. I'm fat, okay? I'm sorry. I wanna actually have some confidence about how I look. Hmm, hard to say. Yeah, 
We should probably stay away from these monsters. Haven't you realized? Strange incidents have been Yo, what's up, Hectic? It's been a little bit. How are you doing tonight, love? Good to see you. Can we give a shout out for Hectic right quick? An adorable VTuber and such a cutie that uh, I definitely do be flirting with from time to time. Um, speaking of like Cosmo and Momo we're talking about with getting a little spicy in their um, chats, Hectic and I can get pretty spicy in chats. <laughs> uh, uh, I had a bit of a one to check to see if anyone was live. Ha, ah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Cut cards, anyone new right attire because nothing in the brain. Yeah, no, when I say cut cards, I mean scale them down, not get rid of them completely. Thank you for shouting out Hectic. Y'all make sure you're checking out Hectic. They are a, such a cutie, but also a really talented VTuber. A lot of fun on their channel. A lot of good chaos and a um, little spiciness going on there, you know? And But it's always a good time just to go in there and hang. And they also love some Genshin. Yes! I can't wait to see you live. I can't wait. We still gotta think of something that we can all do together. Me, you, Chi, the husbando. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? I can't believe Nervilite allowed them into the court of Fontaine just like that. Fuck you, Karen. Exactly. That so-called Chief Justice even granted them official positions. Not only that, but they're now responsible for investigating cases as well. I swear, there's some hidden agenda at play here. You shrimp dick motherfucker. Shut up, Jeff. Go away. Oh, stuff Go up. So I'm really excited for my interview. Oh, snap. Mr. Krabs, I have an idea. What's your idea, Hectic? We joined the Mari Shosei Phantom and solved lots and lots of cases. We've never done anything wrong. Man, I feel this. Same cases? With Nervilet in cahoots with you. You could have fabricated it all, and no one would know. So tell me, how can you guarantee that you Melazines aren't involved in anything that occurred recently? I wanted to tell you before, don't go advertising if you're not a good talker. So, Tren? Aside from spreading unjustified rumors, if you continue insulting members of the Mare Shosei Phantom, the special security and surveillance patrol Anyone get you be called right Boss Rush. Pick a character from random characteristics role and maybe fight a random boss. No healing food, and if you die, you can't join back in the fight. Hmm. That is interesting. And it'll be a little scary for me because there's a lot of characters I have not done a thing to. <laughs> but I, I kind of like that idea. That could be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm in. Let's do it. I'm in. I think I want to do that. I want to see how that goes with y'all. There have indeed been an increase in cases recently. Perhaps due to the shifting currents of conspiracy. And I understand your concern. However, there's been no well, yeah, count me in, Hectic. So I guess we just now got to figure out who all's playing and what when we're gonna do it. Even the captain of the security patrol is on their side. Nervilet's newly reformed police force is already corrupt. Hell yeah! How can two completely different species possibly coexist? I I want all of you to get slapped upside the face. Yeah, because we just went off the spot. Why won't it hmm. There it's your friends saying that you were born from calamity. I mean, Aurora isn't always an idea. Danger to those around you. She did be playing the Gimshin. But I have I have other friends too. Oh, there's so many. I don't know, bro. I have to let's so I think let's focus on figuring out a day or like at least a time frame if we want to do it, and that'll probably help me based off of when we're going to do it to figure out who will be wanting to join in because I have so many get your friends. Oh my god. Uh, there are countless negative rumors about you floating around in Fontaine. Actually, you know what? For you to become a I love Aurora, but we are all too spicy. I don't think that I don't want to put her through that because you, me, and she are not going to be say so. It's just not going to happen. All three of us together on a VC, it's not going to happen. So I don't know if she wants to deal with that. Really busy lately. What do you mean? You know, ex you know exactly what I mean. Don't make me come over there and pull those pants down. <laughs> ah, 
God, it's already coming out. God. <laughs> oh, not first. Oh, but you will be first. You'll be the first one to come. I gotta stop. Let me stop. Um, but how, what y'all been up to? What's been going on in y'all world? If you want to answer that, you don't have to. Lucien Nivellet said that we needed to put both time and effort in. I don't know how long it'll take, but I can at least try Lots. to see my best effort. Ooh, working on maybe a particular event that involves going to a. For oh my god oh my god oh my god i can just imagine oh that's gonna be so beautiful now nah, you have to ask though so when it comes to streaming are y'all gonna have your streaming setups in the same room because good lord with the mics how's that gonna work <laughs> i am curious about that but otherwise i am so excited for y'all uh it's gonna be so good oh yeah it, yeah it will be <laughs> Oh boy. We'll need to have a housewarming Oh well I don't wanna I don't wanna impose, but housewarming party would be epic. Should we have a laptop so I'm not too worried about it. Oh okay. The faster we get this done. Oh she wants a laptop? Damn, that's impressive. Gotta be some strong laptops. I can do nothing but move forward. I can't run. I can't jump. I can't do shit. Uh, I don't remember. I got you. No worries. You two are so cute. Can't wait to hear about the wedding. Thank you for your continued dedication. All my wonderful friends years. getting married and stuff. You've taken one small step forward in helping Melusines gain the trust of humans. I think I'll pass. Hey, don't say that. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. It won't be long before Melusines begin living peacefully with the humans. Just the thought of it makes me happy. Oh, I want to give her a hug. We've barely scratched the surface. There's still a long way to go before that dream of yours comes true. Hey, be a little positive. You blockhead. <laughs> and I'm a busy You're managing your clothes. Species on the side. Roxanne Wait. Brings up a good point. The trust a clothes species. Uh-huh. Nani? Small incident Some other stuff she's been working, of course. You put in. Make a break, I feel. Well, yeah, but y'all, a lot of the work y'all are putting in are towards some big goals. And once they all fit, once they all pan out, I mean, just imagine how life's going to feel. Like, I mean, of course, yeah, there'll probably be another thing you want to work on after that. But once you get to that accomplishment, oh my goodness! Like, just, just like, don't get me wrong, living together, I guess, but I'm so easy, I know. But while living together with a partner is not always a cakewalk, there's definitely a lot more to it than people a lot of times realize. But there's also a lot of good that's going to come out of it. And like the wave of happy feelings you will have knowing that every night you're going to get to lay your head down under the same roof in the same bed with someone you love so much. It's going to make all that work worth it. And I'm so happy that you both are going to get to take part in that. <sighs> My hopeless romantic heart. <sighs> Community surrounded by species that only create no C4 to set. Oh, interesting. Okay. For the next few days. Yes, sir. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah. One day, spirit. One day for the both of us. Medal of Peace? <laughs> peace isn't going to give us back what's rightfully ours. Are you sure we should do this? We're no match for Novelette, even with all our powers combined. What if... Nah, not gonna happen. As long as he remains in his position, there's no chance he'd take us out personally. There are rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. 
Unless he wants to become an enemy of Fontaine. So quit worrying and just go ahead with it. I've already planned out the murder. Once we lay the blame on the Melazines as the person who brought them to the court of Fontaine, Nervy Lett will be left with no excuse. Fuck you! I guess you're right. Ugh. If he just left things the way they were, they're pretty neat, but also big. My little baby, of course. But I love them and need to keep working on my updated trait guide. Oh, that's cute! It sounds like a kind of a DD thing a little bit. Like, somewhat like that. I feel like give me smooches so I can go to bed. Oh, but you want smooches? I should consider making a redeem for that. Getting smooches. Okay. Well, I'll give you some smooches. That's not my cramp because I'm terrible. Get some good rest, Sora. I hope you feel better. I'm sorry, honey. And hectic. Mm -hmm. My cute little dragon. I can't wait to play with you again sometime. Good night, darling. Oh, God. You break. <laughs> I think you bring it out of me so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, sir. One of the few masculine ways that I like to be addressed. You can call me sir anytime you want. As long as you're willing to submit to me. Submit! <laughs> Good night, hun. <laughs> Oh shit. Melazines can't be trusted. That goes for Nervalette too. Oh hell no. Peaceful coexistence? What a joke. Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back. I want to run all their fades. I want to give them these hands. The results of the investigation are in, Captain Vodka. Go on. There is no direct evidence, but reasonable inference indicates that the ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime, whose interests have been undermined by the reform. Being him. Absolutely, the more to marry a spirit. And press charges against her. After that, they incited panic among the people in order to make Monsieur Nervillette confess to his mistakes and yield up power. What the, the fuck? The were stopped by the enraged mob and couldn't intervene in time. Miss Carol... Oh! Her herself ...to pacify the situation. Oh! And she called me a blockhead. A little investigation would have cleared things up. Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? Prove her innocence like that. The situation had rapidly escalated to a physical altercation between infuriated citizens and the guards. Miss Carol might have thought there was no better plan. <sighs> that is indeed something she'd do. Captain Voltra, should I present these results to Monsieur Nervillette right away? There's no need. Notify the guards to restrict public access to all information. Restrict access to... Wait, are you planning to... There's something I've never told Carol. I had a little sister named Ilaria who passed away when I was very young. She's just like Carol in every possible way. Innocent, kind, always believing the best of people. People like her are the most vulnerable to deception and betrayal. I feel this... Cause that's me. I keep getting tricked all the fucking time because I try to believe people can't be that bad. And I'm always wrong. They can be. From the moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be easily manipulated by others. I kept a cold demeanor and tried lecturing her into giving up. Looks like she was unfazed by that. <sighs> yes. In fact, some of her spirit must have rubbed off on me instead. Because I, too, began working towards that pie-in-the-sky dream of hers. I should have known. Those cowards don't have the guts to confront Nervillette. They even avoided causing trouble for me. They were after Carol all along. Do you understand how I feel? Right now, there's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can their debt 
be repaid. I understand, but I'm certain Monsieur Nervalet wouldn't accept that as a solution. That's exactly why we need to keep this a secret. Give me the list of suspects. Oh, shit. What happens after this has nothing to do with any of you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Responsibility for everything. The only thing I want help with right now is I want some meat to eat. And I ain't got none. Actually, I might. I'm gonna have something I can eat. Did you know? They're hearing a major case today, and the criminal is Captain Vautrin of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Apparently, he resorted to personal measures to seek revenge for Carol and settled the score with the group that framed his friends. <sighs> hey, why aren't you saying anything? I'm thinking we should try our best to bail him out when the trial commences. Bail him out? Why? Shh, keep it down. Haven't you realized? Both Votran and Carol are Nervilet's most trusted subordinates. After everything that happened to Carol, Nervilet's guaranteed to do everything he can to keep Votran around. Besides, now that the old regime has been uprooted, Nervilet's status is secure as can be. As long as we redirect public opinion, Nervilet will be able to give Votran a reprieve. The benefits are endless. <laughs> Votran sought vengeance for his friends for a valid cause. This represents the justice he upholds. Please think about it. If the same thing had happened to you, wouldn't you feel the same way he did? Yeah, that's right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're trying. To... Wait, wait, wait. So now you're saying that Votran was seeking justice, but y'all were the ones that wanted the. I, fucking. This whole thing started because of those despicable cowards who levied false accusations against Carol. How could Votran be declared guilty for seeking revenge? What the hell? No, 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 no. Y'all motherfuckers wanted them, wanted her dead from the get go. You can't turn around and try to play the other side now. Fuck you. Monsieur Nouvellet. Mr. Votran is innocent. He's innocent. innocent. Order. I acknowledge your arguments. Votran, your revenge could be seen as a form of justice. I understand your decision. Which is why I cannot help but feel regret and, and grief about the judgment I must now impose. Yeah, the Oratrice Megalit the Oratrice Mechanique de Lelise Cordinal is not gonna see it that way. Exactly, literally. Personal justice does not equate to justice as defined by the law. To execute your plan for revenge, you abused your authority and conducted informal executions. Your actions have thus violated the law. Yeah, see, y'all thought that Neverlet was going to just give them a handout because they homies. No, Neverlet's about the law. About the fucking law. So good job. You got your homie killed because y'all couldn't just be chill with the with the little ones. Therefore, you will be declared guilty. What? That can't be. Monsieur Nervilet, please give this a little more thought. He has done so much for Fontaine. Votran, my friend. Is there anything else you want to say? Nervilet. What have I done to deserve this? I've closely followed every one of your orders. Can't you see? Everyone in this room believes that I'm innocent. Why can't you just let me off? Not Is even. This what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! Order. Since there have been no further objections, the Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Votran. I haven't seen this animation in a while. After the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal, Mr. Votran will be declared guilty. Oratrice Mechanique Denalise Cardinal. 
Yes, I actually want to say it. This all happened because of Carol's naive ideas. No, it happened because of y'all piece of shit motherfuckers. How can different species peacefully coexist anyway? When people like you are wiped off the face of the planet, that's how. We ain't got room for hate up in hell. We about love in this motherfucker. What was that? Apologies. It seems like my memories got the better of me. I tried my best to suppress the power of Hydra within myself, but it seems like it still caused the emotions within the Fountain of Lucine to boil over. Due to my negligence, the overflow of emotions and memories must have affected you as well. Are you all right? I'm fine. Wow. The Hydra Dragon is more powerful than Paimon thought. Anyways, the last time we came here, the Traveler only heard voices from the Fountain of Lucine. No emotions boiling over or anything. It is as you said. This might be because I am different. It is not only the Fountain. I can sense emotions from all waters in Fontaine. Rivers, lakes, and even the rain. That sounds awesome! Exactly, Spirit. But I rarely ever do anything like this. Emotions carried by water are always chaotic and disconnected. As an outsider, having my mind occupied with irrelevant memories isn't exactly a pleasant experience. The memories I saw were related to you. Which ones? From when you brought Carol to the court of Fontaine. From when you declared Vautrin guilty. <laughs> That's fine. I prefer not to speak of those memories. That does not mean I am deliberately hiding them. It was a coincidence, but perhaps it is a good thing that you saw everything in that form. You should now understand why I believe there to be a conspiracy behind all this. These two cases are much too similar. I felt like I needed to do something. Uh, Paimon's starting to lose track of what you're saying. Then let us get back to the point. While I was investigating the fountain, I discovered something strange. I did not sense too much hatred towards me within its accumulated emotions. I don't know what caused this to happen, but it seems like there won't be a shortcut to finding the organization that may be pulling the strings here. However, I did find some resentment directed towards Kiara. If I remember correctly, it seemed to be related to a smuggling case. Ugly. Oh, didn't we read about that in one of the documents? Yeah, we did. You've read about it. In that case, the resentment should have. I mean, you're not wrong, people. Spirit, but. Huh? What are you doing? Hey, here? Navia! What up, girlfriend? Thank you again. Is there something we can help with? I've heard some things. But I'm not purposely asking around or anything. Don't worry. Rumors are abroad that someone's scheming against Melazine, and that you're investigating the case. So I told Lucina di Rosula to keep an eye out for Lee. We've had unfamiliar faces showing themselves at the Fleuve Sandra lately. Maybe you'll find the suspects among them. Thank you. Hell yeah, Spina doing that good work. The Chief just is out on investigation. Accompanied by the traveler from the fall. No matter how you conceal your whereabouts, there will be countless eyes watching you. You talked to Kiara, but didn't ask her to keep things secret. People curious to know asked around for information, then it was only a matter of time before word of the threatening letter spread all across Fontaine. So that's what Charlotte meant. Indeed. I did not expect that this could be kept hidden for too long, but the rumors still spread faster than I imagined. Keep it talk, bro. You know, it could be because you attract more attention than you think. Anyway, any progress with the investigation? The suspects who threatened Kiara might have to do with a certain smuggling case, but it is still uncertain if there is, in fact, another party behind all this. 
We are planning to return to the Palais Mamornia to revisit some details and identify the senders of that threatening letter. All right. Then I'll round up the Spina di Rosula and follow up on their progress. Wait for my word. Ta-ta! Uh, She's so awesome. Do you think there'll be any problems now that the word is out? I have already considered that possibility, and I do not think that there will be any. As a matter of fact, once the word gets out, no one would dare to harm Kiara in broad daylight. I hope not. What is more important is how the case is perceived by the public. 400 years ago, they chose to side with the old regime and direct their resentment towards the Merizines. I hope the same won't happen again. Let us head back to the Palais. Something happened? Let's take a look around. Oh, Lord. Have you heard? Someone's plotting against the Melazine. This is 100% the truth. Even the Chief Justice is investigating in person. What? That's it. Who's been threatening Melazine? Show yourself! Our enemies are lurking in the shadows and won't easily reveal themselves. But no amount of hiding will keep us from finding them. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The guards have already begun to take action. We can't just stand by and watch. Think about how much we owe them. Now that they're in danger, how can we just sit back and do nothing? I hope y'all mean this. Everyone, please stay alert to your surroundings from now on. If you see any suspicious persons, report them to the guards immediately. It feels like we've been following you this whole time. Did something happen? We were informed that. <clears throat> nope. We just finished our shifts and happened to be strolling by. Have you had dinner yet? Why don't we check out the new items at the dessert shop together? This isn't a good time to be out and about. <laughs> Come on. Don't act tough. I bet you're hungry too. I'm about to say your stomach is told on yourself. All right. Let's go buy a cake or something. You shouldn't ever skip meals, especially if you have another shift scheduled for later. I hope y'all are being genuine. I heard even Nebby Let's keeping an eye on the situation. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to get promoted. We gotta make sure we give it all we've got. Seriously? Were you planning to shirk your duties if Nervilette wasn't involved? Get him, Bruno! Relax, I was just playing. We've worked together for years now. If something happened to them, I'd be haunted by regret for the rest of my life. That's more like it. Heart. We should People are not like what they were 400 years ago. Yeah. Fight me instead, you coward! In fact... Hmm. Interesting. Have you heard? Even the special patrol came to help. Shh, look. Isn't that Nervilet? I think he's looking at us. Huh. Looks like there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. This is truly wonderful. So, you want to go over and say hi? No, I should stay where I am. My appearance could give rise to unnecessary commotion. Let us stick to our plan and return to the. He, he do be looking good. The faster we uncover the truth. Oh, the if I if I looked, fifteen percent is good. Oh. Sigh. It's enough to make. You wanna cry? Bethany want to kinda cry? Get to my loo, my darling.
the smuggling case was solved by the joint forces of the guards and the Mauritius. You do be looking good, though, Spirit. This is the one. The list of involved suspects should be... Ah, found it. What does it say? The principal offenders, Domenico, Unica, Yuna, and others have been caught. They have been sent to the fortress of Meropede following trial. Those with close connections or mutual interests with the offenders, but who did not participate in the case, will not stand trial. Among them, surveillance of Essan has ceased on account of his good behavior. All other personnel remain on our watch list. So many names. Is the one who sent that threatening letter Kiara on the list? Yes, there is something suspicious about Essan, to be precise. Oh? It seems like he's closely related to the core members of the smuggling case, and he moves around without much restriction. Should we tell Navia about this? Monsieur Nivelle, someone claiming to be from the Stila de Rasula just checked in with us. He said, and I quote, <clears throat> We have located the suspect. They're chatting at the cafe. Huh? How did Navia find them so quickly? We've only just figured out the suspect's name. Listen, they're basically the mafia of this country. I'm not surprised by this. It isn't too far from here. We should head over and take a look. They're like a positive mafia, basically. Goodness gracious, look at this. Do, do, do y'all see this? Like, god damn. Then again, I mean, she's probably either wearing nothing underneath that or a Sarashi that would definitely not restrict the girls, you know what I mean? And sus? be good hey, Navia, we're here. good job girlfriend whoa check out all these people uh hey there are you Navia's friends too these are the people who have had recent dealings at the Marachose fan pool they're usually hidden in the Fleuve Sandra but I sent for someone to invite them over invite them over Exactly. Now, I heard there's great coffee here, and so I asked them if they'd like to come and have some. Yeah, it's our pleasure to be guests of the Spina di Rosula. Hmm. <laughs> I've wanted to have a meetup like this for ages. Uh, something feels odd. <laughs> but, oh well, let's get back to business. Is there anyone called Essan here? Yes. That's me. Your Essan? Yes. Yes, Monsieur Nervilet. I didn't do that one. I write that threatening letter to Kiara. Um. Uh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <clears throat> I, I did, but I, I'm just following orders. Orders from whom? Dominico. He was my boss. I couldn't disobey his orders. Yeah, that was your spirit, but I'm glad. I, I like that that's in there. Where is he now? The Fortress of Meropede. Uh, I'm afraid even the Spina would have trouble looking into that place. Looks like you'll have to make the trip yourself. This was as much as I could do. You've done more than enough. I'm extremely grateful for your help. Leave the formalities for later. You should find Dominico first. If he really is the one setting up the conspiracy, it'd be best if he's exposed as soon as possible. All right, then. Let's head to the fortress right now. What, to have a brawl down in the fortress? I don't 
don't know what that is. Let's get it. Welcome to the Fortress of Merapi, dear esteemed guests. Okay, so this is after we went to jail. This isn't anything new. I figured you had important matters to discuss when the two of you, not to mention the Chief Justice, showed up. So this actually places this in the timeline after we were in jail. So after the eruption of the seawater. I don't know if it's before or after the next part, though. I'm not going to say it out loud in case somebody, somebody hasn't gotten that far in the story, but... Let's assume we've gone through the pleasantries and cut right to the chase. Hmm. I do remember a thing or two about Dominico. He once attempted to round up the other inmates and instigate a protest. What does this guy think he is? Oh, I don't hope nothing came of it. He once attempted to, I said, meaning that it was over before it even started. And now he's threatening Melazines, is he? To be honest, Dominico doesn't seem like much of a conspirator. The fact that the three of you bothered to personally investigate raises a flag. Is there something else going on behind the scenes here? Uh, he's got the same concerns we do. I am concerned about this incident because something similar has occurred in the past. I wish to meet Domenico in person and have my questions answered. That's an easy one. Let me think. I think he's at... Oh, did I hear someone say Melazine? What happened? Oh snap! It's Seizween! Did we already establish she has a hydro vision on her back? A melazine named Kiara received a threatening letter. Yeah, and we're investigating. The person who threatened her seems to be in prison. Okay, we did, okay. There's no need to worry. Clarand is protecting her as we speak. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, but if the criminal's still... Is there anything I can do about this? Ah, head nurse. Do you require me to personally deal with the criminal? Ridesley. Mm. Okay, I get it. I'll bring Dominico to you. That's your only demand, correct? Think of it as more of a humble request. I'm here on my own accord, not to formally transfer a criminal for trial. I urge you to set aside any concerns. Thanks for the trouble. Consider me in your debt. Whoa! If Paimon were the Duke, Paimon would take this chance to ask for something really important. Well, were I still a criminal, uh, I thought, what if Nina let me... Sentence. The but spirit! Sure would reject that. Naughty, naughty spirit. Hold on a second. <laughs> I couldn't resist. But enough jokes. I'll look for Dominico and bring him to you. Make yourselves at home. Our dear head nurse has mentioned you quite a few times, so I'm sure she has a lot to say. Please come with me to the infirmary. I think we're learning a lot. Dark areas, so make sure you don't trip over anything. I think we're learning a lot about you, spirit, in these recent days. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Trying to get more used to getting all the sparkles. There we go. There's a 
isn't a bad thing. Oh, it's not a bad thing. Why did it have me go down? It was all on the same level I was just on. Now that I think about it, I can leave this place soon. Huh? Yeah. I was really hoping. Which means you have to drink up even before that. If Siege Wing's not a healer, I call bullshit. I, I, that's all I'm gonna say. When she comes out as a playable character, if she's not a healer, what the fuck? I'll bring you some tea. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Like, of course she could do more than just heal. We have a lot of healers that can fight too, but she has to have healing. She needs to blow Baizu out of the water. The criminals we passed by earlier. You noticed them too. The badges they wore on their chests looked quite familiar. Familiar? Uh, Paimon didn't even realize they were wearing them. But if both of you say so, let's go ask them about it. Paimon and I will go. You're not exactly a sight for sore eyes around here. That's not a bad idea. I will stay here and wait for news from you. Oh, we're about to get into a fight. Okay, maybe not. It just doesn't interrogate him. Or investigate him. They should be a coke in me. What a high crit rate or something like that. Yeah. Anything you need? The badge you're wearing. Oh, this? Are you interested in joining the mutual aid network? The mutual aid network? Oh, don't tell Paimon you're another shady organization like the Beret Society. The Beret Society? Oh, you mean the group that was dissolved a while back? <laughs> Rest assured, <laughs> we're completely different. Okay then, what does your network usually do? We have a very long history, going back as far as 400 years ago. Ah, uh, red flag. We've never had many members throughout our history, nor do we have much of a reputation. But everyone treats each other like family. Helping each other is our purpose. At the same time, we seek to maintain just dealings as much as possible. Sounds like a pretty neat organization. <laughs> All we want is to defend ourselves. None of us have ever committed serious crimes, and we're not especially powerful either. We're at a natural disadvantage here in the fortress. But people won't give us a hard time if we stick together. Um, red flags. Interested in joining the mutual aid network? If you'd like to learn more, here's our flyer. Help each other. Do all you can to further justice. Mm -hmm. Do not detest just judgment. The above are the three principles of the mutual aid network. All are welcome to join and membership is free. There are no compulsory group events. Mutual Aid Network encourages members to do what they are able, including but not limited to cleaning, exercising, tutoring, and studying. It is hoped that all Mutual Aid Network members will, during their time in the Fortress of Meripede, face up to the crimes they have committed, encourage each other, support each other, and welcome the future together. Hmm. Oh no. Over the centuries, but our goal has remained unchanged. Here, this book is for you. You're welcome to come and sign up anytime. This could be a red herring, though. 
I only know what that word. I only know what that means because of the pup named Scooby Doo, the one character. Hmm. You two look kind of familiar. The badge you're wearing. It's the symbol of the mutual aid network designed by our first president. From what I've heard, it's based on something called a medal of peace. <laughs> I've never seen one of those medals for myself, though. Ah, uh, medal of peace. The first president of our network was an amazing person. Powerful as he was, he never used his strength against anyone. He encouraged the weaker criminals to stick together and look out for each other. All of us have a lot of respect for him. We should have gathered enough information. Let's head back and talk to Neverland. It's all sus. Personally crafted two of them myself. They were awarded to Carol and Vautrin. Carol's medal was destroyed in a fire. The only one that remained should belong to Vautrin. Was inspired by Monsieur Neville, his grace has requested your presence in his office. He's found Dominico. All right. Let us talk. Akram Spales, man. Huh! How about that shit? Yo, what's up, Laden? Thanks for coming to the stream. Hope you had some good sleeps. I'm probably not gonna be going too much longer anyway, so don't worry. Like, we're, we're gonna finish up Nouvelle's story, and there's one more thing I want to play around with, and then we're gonna probably go ahead and sign off. Find somebody to lead. No pulls today. I don't think I have any resin. Not resin. Um, what do you call it? Wishes. If I do have any, I'll do one. Allow me to introduce this fine gentleman, Dominico. Why don't you explain everything to him? Nevilet? What do you want? What are you gonna do? Kill me? Bruh. Calm down. I merely want to ask you a few questions. Was it your idea to send that letter to a melusine? Uh, I. Uh... Mm. Essain has already confessed, so there really isn't any need to keep hiding. Stop that idiot! I can't believe I trusted him! Let me ask this another way. It was your idea to send that letter, correct? <sighs> yes. Who is pulling your strings? Uh, what? Y you're not trying to frame me for something I haven't done, are you? Mm. It's best if you realize the gravity of your situation. The Chief Justice of Fontaine has been personally investigating your case. I assume your previous attempt to incite unrest at the Fortress of Meripede has something to do with this as well. Oh, shit! Hold on. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. I... I admit I acted on impulse. I'll tell you the truth. But before that, you must ensure my safety. I can do that. You see, 
We're all reasonable people here. I only intended to do some small business at first. Someone contacted me about delivering some goods and promised me a generous sum of more in return. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Marichose Phantom. They accused me of smuggling prohibited items, and I was put on trial. But I refuse to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from... Oh yeah, she's being is a melazine, isn't she? Well, I suspect that someone got me locked up here so they could get their hands on my goods. decided to take revenge on the Melazine? Over that? Ignorance is not an excuse, by the way. My initial target was Nervi Lett. Everyone in the forces of Meropede was declared guilty by him, after all. So they must more or less hold a grudge against them, right? If I could get them to strike back. But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. That mutual aid network in particular. What did those nobodies even gain from trying to challenge me? Seriously. In the end, I had to redirect my focus onto Melazines to salvage things. I recall that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. So I asked one of the more approachable guards to send a letter, claiming that I meant to contact my family. But the letter was in fact addressed to Essa. I requested that he write a threat letter to Kiara and force it to resign from the Mari Chaussee Phantom. Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own faults? Have you been in contact with any suspicious people recently? No. Is it true that all members involved in the smuggling scandal have been caught? Yes. And that's all I know. I don't buy it. Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. Mr. Nivillette, you were concerned that there might be a shadowy faction looking to capitalize on the delicate situation with the Melazines to stir up greater chaos? Yes. I experienced a similar incident in the past, so I had to be prepared for any possibility. And how long ago was this incident? More than 400 years. You might be overthinking this. Time can change a lot of things. Everything's different now. Um. 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers in society. But in the present day, if someone were to threaten the safety of the Melazines, people wouldn't just sit back and do nothing. I trust that they would make different choices from before. People standing up for Melazines on our way back to the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nivillette, the Melazines are a species you introduced to Fontaine. How the public treats them is also reflective of their attitude towards you. When people refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because they were still on the fence about you, their unfamiliar Chief Justice. For almost 500 years, you've conducted every trial with impartiality. You made the right judgment each time, regardless of whatever nonsense went on. People no, we do not eat Paimon. We cuddle Paimon. Consider you a symbol of the law. Right now, your every decision will impact all of Fontaine. In other words, you've gradually transformed the whole nation. I mean, I think I think Risley does have a point too, though. Paimon gets it now. No wonder no one. You can get calories a different way. Tragedies like that won't ever happen again. See, I wish I could totally just say that, but listen, I'm African American, so enough said. I am undeserving of such high compliments. From my perspective, I have simply been fulfilling my duties. Like th things have improved, but it ain't over yet. I'm simply fulfilling the promises I've made and searching for answers through my judgments. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. The complexity of human emotions and willpower far exceed those of mine. As a matter of fact, I believe that you are the ones who deserve my respect. Oh, there's no need to be so modest. The current state of affairs says it all. You're no longer that outsider you were before. Even if you wish to investigate something on your own, Many would take the initiative to lend you a hand. I must say that you've made a fair point. 
Thank you for clearing my doubts. Now that the case has been settled, I should get going. Huh? This ain't over yet. Because every story quest, you always play with the character in a little bit. It ain't over yet. Offer, but I know how this place works all too well. While some are here to redeem themselves, there will inevitably be those who harbor resentment towards me. The less time I spend here, the better. My presence could very well result in an unwanted disturbance. Got a point. In that case, I'll have to insist. I still have two more things to say. Please, go ahead. The first is about the guard who helped Dominico send that letter. Ah, I know of what you speak. The guard was indeed deployed from the Palais Memonia staff. However, as I mentioned earlier, I visited today on personal business. Therefore, I leave that matter in your hands. Well, that makes things a lot easier. You're not going to... Hey now, don't let your imagination run wild. Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. However, down here, such thoughts will put you at high risk. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind him to take precautions in the future. I see no issues with that. Great! That's one thing out of the way. Uh, what's the other thing you wanted to say? The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Now, I've heard that you investigated the mutual aid network. Is that right? Yep. Navarre thought their badges looked familiar. I noticed a small gang as well when I first took over the Fortress of Merapi. They were not great in number, but every member always made sure to stand up for what was right. I've looked into their founder, Vautrin, who once stood trial and was sentenced to imprisonment in the fortress. According to existing documentation, Vautrin remained disciplined throughout his imprisonment. He had never once engaged in physical or verbal aggression. In other words, how he presented himself in prison was very different from his behavior in court. What? Hmm? Doesn't he hate Nivellet? During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. He appeared to be full of resentment. And I believe he had every right to feel that way. Perhaps he had been putting on an act. I was thinking that too during that scene. I was like, he has to know that Nivellet would not be impartial about the judgment. And so he was playing it up for some reason. I just couldn't figure out for what. An act? Nervillette and Vautrin had a close relationship as superior and subordinate. Vautrin must have known that the Chief Justice would make an impartial judgment. Thank you, that's what yes. I said. The more resentment he displayed, the clearer it would be to those present that you were upholding justice. Okay, I get it. He was using himself as an example so people would know from down the line that, yo, Nuvalet threw his own best friend or good friend and subordinate into Fortress of Merope. So we do not play with this man. If he will throw his friend in basically jail, what the fuck do you think he'll do to us? We better act right. To those who had been sitting on the fence, Vautrin's act was a very meaningful one. <sighs> That's all from me. Does anyone else have anything to say? Now's your chance. I don't have anything to say. Apart from expressing my gratitude, that is. Well then, let us head back. No need to see us off. Are we really gonna have no fight breakout? Take care. We ain't running nobody's hands? I feel like every story quest I've ever done in this game thus far always ends with throwing down as the character whose story it is. Trial is something I rarely bring up in conversation, but I have always felt deep regret for what happened to both Carol and Vautrin. The words he spoke in court often replay in my mind, as if urging me only to do something. But Riley said he never resented you, right? Isn't that a good thing? I believe I now understand what he wanted to tell me. I feel conflicted about those words. How should I describe it? Surprise, relief, fear, and regret. But this blend of emotions has led me to finally understand some things. I would like to hear your thoughts, too. What do you think of me? I'm on a 
agrees with everything Risley says. At Chief Justice, every single one of your trials makes an impact on one thing. What do you think, Traveler? Uh, hey, any comments? What I really think is... Oh, sh... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! She speaks! Every trial you've ever judged has left its impression on you. And that's what makes you who you are today. As a Hydro Dragon Sovereign, Nivales still thinks of himself as an outsider due to his identity. But so much time has passed since then. Perhaps the line between him and humans have long since blurred. Hmm. That is indeed a reasonable assumption. As I said, I find it difficult to express my emotions. Chief. I cannot fully understand myself. But I trust your judgment. Since some time ago, I have begun to notice the changes that have occurred upon my person. These changes were not due to any specific occurrence, but emerged as a result of time itself. I will try to contemplate this further. Thank you both. Pre-render. raining again i've had enough of this weather Ugh, there go my travel plans did you read the news this morning quick put away everything on the clothesline <sighs> why is this rain going so to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. The Fortress of Merope. It's a good place for me. Yo, what's up, Ghost? Thanks for coming to the stream. Yep, new last story quest. Nervulus? Hmm. You could say he's the real symbol of Fontaine's justice. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. I can already completely different. I can already hear spirit in her head. Who's been threatening Melatine? Show yourself! You will see much in the human world. From the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Good morning, Miss Deanna. Was that? The rainy season's almost over. <laughs> the skies are supposed to clear in a few days. I hope you find time to enjoy the sunny days ahead. See, now I kind of wish I had done this before we got to that point in Fontaine's story. Because I'd have heard that voice and I'd have been like, was that Fossilor? Is the matter resolved? Yep, we found the person who sent that threatening letter. Risley said he'd keep a close eye on him, so the Melatine's just be safe now. Oh, that's wonderful. Sorry for dragging you all into this. There's no need to apologize. 
Yeah, you didn't drag us in. We got involved of our own accord. Uh, by the way, where's Kiara? At the Palais Mononia. More than 50 people offered to protect her. Some even hid within the bushes to look out for danger. That's awesome. That the excess of protection would make her feel uneasy. So I asked her to stay inside the Palais. It's very safe in there. <sighs> what a relief. Well, now it looks like the dust has finally settled. To celebrate this joyous occasion, Monsieur Nubelet. Wait, so this is considered after? Exclusive interview. That's not how you celebrate. Because the, the manner of speaking was... Of course. My schedule is full for the following weeks, but I should be available next month. Come up with questions during the intervening days, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Because the manner of speaking was definitely more fulsalor. You know who Charlotte reminds me of? Charlotte reminds me of Maverin. <laughs> that is literally how Maverin be acting. I love it. It will assuage the concerns of all. Oh, now I'm teleporting. I don't feel like doing all that climbing. Fuck that. I want a pet her. Oh. Kiara. <sighs> Monsieur Nubilet? Uh, sorry, I accidentally fell asleep. It's quite all right. I'm here to tell you that we have caught the sender of that threatening letter. You're safe now. Thank you, Monsieur. And thank you too, Traveler and Big Fish Paimon. So Precious good. must protect, yes. So we protect all the Melusines. Do you remember Dominico? He was the sender of that letter. Let me think. Uh, I can't remember. My memory isn't that good, so I easily forget things. Hmm. By the way, I saw Carol in my dreams just now. Hmm. Where's she gone, by the way? I see you saying, Ghost. Interesting. In a long time. Uh, oh, this is awkward. In my dream, she looked really happy. She held my hand and said, Kiara, our dreams have finally come true. Ah. I don't remember what our dreams were anymore. And I don't know why. But I felt really happy, too. I can sense your joy. It is indeed a delightful moment. <laughs> Monsieur Nubilet, are you Wait, ah, ah. Oh, I almost forgot. Am I allowed to go out now? I promised a model for Alo. Of course. Off you go. See you next time, Monsieur Traveler and Big Fish Paimon. <laughs> Big. Hmm. See you next time. We did it! Oh, you know what? I can do a wish now, actually. I want to check something really quick, though. Okay. Yay! Neva lets desk. I once thought that time was of no consequence to me. Distance yourself from others and stay focused on your work. A few years or a few hundred, it's all the same. 
But after all this, I've realized that perhaps this way of thinking is fundamentally flawed. The passing of time has its own consequences. The answer that I've been searching for amongst all those lives, perhaps it's life itself. I have to go to Nuvalet's desk. Let's see. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, that's Nuvalet. Not getting anything. It might have been what we had to look at earlier in this story quest. That's it. Okay. Anything up here? I'm just walking up all, all in this man's desk. Wait. Dang, Yunfei got some got some thickness going on in them thighs a little bit. Yeah, I ain't getting nothing. All right. Two more things I wanted to do before we end for tonight. Something different, but it might not have spawned yet. All right. Well, I left out of there, so... And now Nuvel that's gone. All right. I'm going to take this opportunity to look at something I wanted to look at really quick, which is... Oh, she's birthday today. Oh, shit. All right. Let's get in there. What is this up here? They give me nothing. They give me nothing. Bad. All right. Uh. Actually, wait. No. Not. Oh, fuck. Plus. Something I wanted to see. The entire time I was working on that edit for Twitter, I had this one short from Dora44 on a loop. And now I have to try to do the same thing that he did. I don't think this is the one. It is not. Okay, so it's gotta be this one then, right? You can verify that here. Okay. Where is this ladder that he did? What the? F oh, so what the fuck is that? For two members. There's one of these. That there's a ladder there or something. Hold on. You know what? Let me. 
Was it this one? It's one of these where there's like a ladder I can go up and I can check something. And I'm not finding it. What the fuck? It had to be either... I wonder if maybe it didn't trigger because we've already passed a certain point in the story. That's the only thing I could figure. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell this freaking thing is. You know what? I'm not going to harp on it. I'll look it up and we'll try it again. To Wait a minute. I just thought about something. Maybe this is the one? If this isn't it, though, we'll just do it again another day. No, this is not it. Damn it. Oh, well, I'll look it up and we'll do it next time. No big deal. It is what it is. But yes, now we are going to do a single wish. So we have established. No, I don't want to go there. I want to go there. We have established that I have done... So I have done 35, 36 witches. So... Number 37, here we go. Done. Oh well. It is. It's a very cute way to say, go touch some grass. Let's see. So we got 18 days for those hit. We got 19 days for this. And I did also want to look at how many more days before the Spiral Abyss resets. Two days. Okay. So soon we can go back in there and get even more Primo Gems. Fuck yeah. All right, so I think that will do it for tonight. When we come back on the next stream, we will continue on to do what we actually were intending to do at first today, but we didn't do it. Chiori's story. And of course, we're going to eventually start working on all of these stories. I also hope, I don't know if we'll have time, but I would like to start looking into some of the other, let's see. Are you serious? They only gave us a new one and new, and I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad we have one of Lynette, because I really want to do... I almost said wanted to do her... do hers. But I would have thought they would have given us more than just her. Like, the fuck? But that's okay. That's okay. Oh, two? Yeah. Go ahead and unlock that. So, yeah, hopefully we will be able to do this the next time. And maybe we'll have enough time to look into some of the endings for Lynette. So, which we probably should start doing a lot more of these. We never did finish Kuki's. How do we even get this one? The other quest to start. Huh. Which one is it? Oh, Tainari. Okay. Let's make a pair of scissors. That is actually pretty cool. I like that. That's very cool. I didn't even know that. So thank you for telling me that, Ghost. All right. Let us get back to the just chatting screen and figure out who we are going to raid tonight. Let's see. All right, close this down. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm always glad that y'all are here to hang out with me. I really appreciate you sticking around and chilling and all that good cool stuff 
Huh. You know, I really don't have much of anybody to raid. Huh. So, I think tonight is going to be a night where perhaps we will try to find somebody new. I mean, you know what to do if you want a guy to raid. All right, I'll check it out and we can go from there. Why does that name sound so familiar? I'm going to say, because there's uh, something about that name. I can't remember what it is. It was a long time ago. There's something. I, I, I'm going to have to say we may need to refund you for that one tonight. Just because I have to look into that to remember what is it. Something I can't remember. But also, they have, like, plenty of views. So, you know, if I am going to raise somebody new, I definitely someone I don't already follow I definitely want to raid someone where they don't really have a lot of views if any um to support somebody who you know don't have that love because I remember what that was like where you know you're streaming and you only got one viewer if that so I want to try to give some love to somebody who don't got it like that so let me continue to scroll down but I appreciate you redeeming that though and I'll definitely look into that um, I'm sure there's got to be a reason why I recognize that name. I can't remember what the fuck it is, but it's got to be something. Uh, zoo, 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 zoo. I kind of wish that I could have just accepted it though, because you already know it take a minute for me to try to find somebody on just a straight up list of Gishin Impact streamers, because there's so many that don't speak English. I already did it. Thank you though. Let's see. I'm sorry, I want to try to find a VTuber as well, though. I have a problem with raising somebody who is a flesh tuber as a former flesh tuber myself. But if I can find a fellow VTuber, or yeah, VTuber. Yeah, I took care of it. I'm sorry, I was a little quick on the draw for that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess sometimes it still slips in. It's like, good for me too because I'm not aware of anything. So come on, please tell me. I got you. Will do. Yeah, like, I guess sometimes I still just kind of jump into it. It's like, I, I have mods. I don't have to do that anymore. Those days are over for me. I do not have to stress about it. But I'd be just doing it so quick. I'm so, ah. Uh, I will get right one day. I'm sorry. I need to let y'all do your job. <laughs> Seriously, why is it always so hard for me to find somebody? Especially for Genshin. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't even pick Genshin. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that good old thing that I always do. Sonic Adventure 2. That one never fails. Let's see. So. Well, it failed for me today. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. So my anyone because VTubers uh, live already have a lot of views. I got you. Let's see. What about Sonic Mania? Let's try that. All right, Sonic Frontiers. Dang it. Okay, um, thank you for the hydrate, I will in just a moment. Fuck. Oh no, they got way too many, oh, fucking hell. No. All of those are way too high. I may have met my match today, y'all. Let me try to speed scroll. Actually, can I do this? Oh, 
Oh, they all Twitch. Thank you. I just noticed on the side of this, there's a thing that says language. You can filter your languages. Oh my God. That should have been a thing, but that helps tremendously. Holy fuck. Because the worst thing about it is just there's just so many that were not English. So I'm sitting here like, a lot of these people look interesting, but I'm pretty sure there will be a language barrier. <laughs> so now I can at least eliminate that from the issue. So I don't have to worry about finding some good VTubers in the list. Thank freaking. But see, of course, nobody says anything about that. They only talk about when Twitch does something bad. They don't talk about when they do something good. That's great. That's freaking great. All right, here we go. I'm starting to see some faces that seem interesting. Let's see. Yeah, because no, it was so bad. Y'all just don't understand, chat. It was so bad. That's why I kind of stopped for a long time looking for new people that we don't already know to raid because it would just be so many that I would have to go through to find somebody because there's so many that you couldn't understand. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I would love to support you, but we will not be able to understand the thing you're saying. You may not be able to understand the thing that we're saying, and nobody wins then. All right, so I'm gonna meet this up audio real quick. I'm gonna take a look at this person because of course you know that when we are gonna raid somebody, we gotta take a look. We can't just jump on it. We gotta take a look. I may not be able to do this because now we're starting to hit to the point where we kind of have the same amount of views as where they're at. And I guess we can still do it if it's like the same. Oh, wow. Ha, there I am. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I see myself on here. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> That's insane. Mmm. Oh, see, I was about to click on that, but it said 16 plus. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, we, we, we don't want that. Nope. So, you know what we're going to do? I did see that Spirit mentioned. Why the fuck did they have this up here? That's 22 viewers. I do not want to raid that. What the I have it low to high. Why would you put that in the middle of all these three? You got three viewers, three viewers, three viewers, 22 viewers, three viewers. What the fuck? For what reason? That's so dumb. All right. Oh. Ah, Shinobu. Okay, hold on. I didn't see them. Yeah, listen. Wait. Mathers popped up. Is she about to go live? Hold on. Let me go to her thing and look. But if she is, that would be fucking hilarious. Okay, and no, I don't think she is. So yeah, we'll raid Shinobu then. Because I can't remember the last time I raided Shinobu, to be perfectly honest with you. And so let me click on the us. And I gotta mute this tab right quick. And go here. So y'all can enjoy the other side of Hoyoverse. Ooh, I almost did the wrong shout out. Oops. That one. There we go. They are playing Honkai Star Rail. Looks like they're working on some story right now. I don't know what I'm looking at because I don't play Star Rail. But let's see. Just to read over some of their rules right quick. First time playing as well. Hey. Uh, oh, they're, oh, it's their first time. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Let me read all the rules. 
Uh, mature stream views under 8 to 18 should not watch. That's fine because everybody should be over 21 from us. Kind of respect to everyone. My streams are welcome to everyone, different species. No bullying, sexism, racism, homophobia, other hate based chat. No spoiling unless asked. No backseat gaming unless I really need help. I only know English and very little Japanese. All languages are welcome and I'll try my best to respond. I know I am a bottom, but don't bully me too. It makes me uncomfortable. I remember that being a problem. No advertising, no promotion, talk about other streamers. I bring up the topic. Yeah, so pretty obvious stuff. Yeah, so first rate message if you are not sub, second if you are sub. Exactly. Good job on that, y'all. Let me go ahead and copy the rate message myself. And we will start the raid and go say hi to Shinobu. It has been a very long time since I've raided them. They're somebody that I've known for a, a just under the amount of time that I've known um, the dear Kitsu Kitsu. Well, I'm surprised I'm not seeing her streaming right now. So yeah, we'll go raid him. Dim. Oh wait, not Dim. No, they are straight male. So it looks like he, him for them. So yeah, we're good. Yeah, remember, Ghost, you can copy the second message. All right. Uh, I'm going to get ready to go to bed. Oh, frick. Ugh. I love you all. Y'all have a good rest of your night. I will see you on the next one. Remember the name, because where there's light, there's Shadows Heroes. Chaos is power, and I'm out of here. No, you're good. You're good, Spirit. Like, you just reminded me that somebody that I already knew was online. So, that, that's fine. We can do that. All right, let's get this thing going. For those of you who are new to the channel, we always end with a good hearty chaos control in honor of my teacher, Shadow the Hedgehog, and to teleport to the next streamer. I'll see you on the next one. Night, everybody. Y'all go get some rest, because it's getting late for everybody. <laughs> chaos control!